As the road to the Royal Rumble continues, we welcome you to the North, a sold out Scotia Bank Arena, live for Monday Night Raw in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. But we want to take you back to last week in Grand Rapids, the end of the Slammy Award edition of the Red Brand, when the street champ Solo Sokoa picked up a monstrous win over that Celtic warrior Sheamus. However, the celebration was short-lived. As you will see momentarily, Solo Sokoa was met with the past of his demons. The return of the almighty Bobby Lashley with a spear cutting the street champ in half. Lashley with unfinished business with Solo, and Lashley also with unfinished business regarding the WWE Championship. And as we found out over the last week, the Almighty gets the title shot he originally earned for Survivor Series in November. Lashley's back, and he gets Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship, live January the 7th in Vegas at the Royal Rumble. But Seth Rollins, your WWE Champion, is in action live tonight in Toronto when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the hometown boy, WWE's newest free agent, the Rated-R Superstar Edge. Back on the red brand for the first time since February, Edge, Rollins, one-on-one -on -one in your main event. The title's not on the line, but certainly huge Royal Rumble implications hang in the balance. It is going to be a hot and heavy night here on Monday Night Raw, just under three weeks away from our trip to Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. And the Almighty is back. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley originally became the number one contender for the WWE title back in October at Clash at the Castle when he defeated the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Just 24 hours later, Lashley was put on the shelf indefinitely by the street champ Solo Sokoa, an ambush in the backstage area, mounted off what we just saw 24 hours prior to that with the war with Lesnar. Lashley had fractured ribs and was unable to challenge Rollins for the WWE title at Survivor Series. All this time later, Lashley is back, and he is back with a vengeance, not only to settle the score with the street champ Solo Sokoa, but to get the title match that he earned months ago. Lashley now with his hands full tonight. Ashante the Adonis looking to step up to the almighty, but I'm sure Lashley's got his eyes on multiple directions. Can he stay focused in your opening matchup? Thank you for joining us. We are live from a sold out. Scotia Bank Arena, the home of the 2023 Royal Rumble. Just three weeks out for the 2024 festivities in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, as Lashley taking things to the outside in the early going. Bobby Lashley is back on Monday Night Raw, and he is back with a vengeance. Lashley Spear and Solo Sokoa last week over that big time victory over Sheamus, an emphatic win by the street champ. Solo Sokoa, we talked about it last week, but clearly out to send the message to the Monday Night Raw locker room, beating Sheamus from pillar to post in the back half of that match last week. Even putting him through the announce table at one point. Solo walked away with the victory, but he did not walk away with his hand raised high because Bobby Lashley got the last laugh last week in Grand Rapids. Now Lashley with his eyes set on Solo Sokoa also has to keep the WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins in the back of his mind. Lashley was supposed to meet the Visionary back in November in Madison Square Garden, but thanks to Solo Sokoa, that never came to be. Lashley gets his long-awaited WWE Championship matchup with Seth freaking Rollins. January the 7th, Sunday night, kick it off 2024 with a bang at the Royal Rumble. Lashley and Rollins, last time those two men went one-on-one -on -one was back in the summer in the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Rollins defeated Lashley on that night. Just, just snuck away with the victory. And we know what that win led Rollins to do, win Money in the Bank and go on to win the WWE Championship. So, got Bobby Lashley in the back of his mind and thinking that very well could have been my shot if I had defeated Rollins on that night. Lashley with a lot of scores to settle. Unfinished business here on Monday Night Raw, and Lashley is full head of steam here tonight in Toronto. We're getting a look at the challenger for the Royal Rumble right now. 
Later tonight, we get a look at the champion as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Hall of Famer, the rated R superstar Edge. Edge becoming a free agent unbeknownst to everybody this Saturday night before Armageddon last weekend. Edge letting the world in on that information this past Friday night on SmackDown. And Edge declaring he would be coming home to Toronto tonight. Now signed to go one-on-one -on -one with an old foe in the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. I'm sure that's going to be one hell of a main event here in the Scotiabank. Shanta the Adonis who has been the punching bag to Bobby Lashley so far in this matchup. Trying to mount some offense right there. And Lashley, look at this, not even phased. Catching Ashante in the air, and a big time backbreaker. Bobby Lashley looking to make a statement tonight. Send a message to Seth Rollins. Send a message to Solo Sokoa that he is back better than ever. And looking for payback and championship gold. Now with this bear hug locked in, just squeezing the life out of the Adonis. Ashante doing all he can to break the hold. I don't know. He's surviving right now, but I really wouldn't call it thriving as every time he tries to mount some offense, Lashley's right there to cut him off. Still to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, as you see, Kevin Owens set to go one-on-one -on -one with Joe Gacy, who made his debut last week on the Slammy Awards in a very, honestly very, oh, I would say impactful, but almost disturbing matchup with Sami Zayn. Gacy was all over Zayn in that matchup and picked up a big-time victory, and it was not without some layover. Sneak attack after the match. We'll talk all about it later tonight. Kevin Owens looking to do one good by his friend Sami Zayn against Joe Gacy later tonight on Raw. Ashante the Adonis saw an opportunity there, but Bobby Lashley, look at that. No waste in motion. Right back to his feet. And Lashley looking to strut his stuff. The strength on display here in the north. Now Lashley ragged on his opponent. At least momentarily that time. This is Lashley's first matchup since facing Brock Lesnar. A clash at the castle in October. And now Lashley, hurt, locked, locked in. He's had enough of the games. And that's a tap out. Nowhere to run when you're in the hold of the hurt lock. The almighty Bobby Lashley back in business. Back in better than ever. And he is full head of steam towards challenging for the WWE Championship Sunday night. January the 7th at the Royal Rumble. Here is your winner, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley with a lopsided victory here tonight in Toronto. Statement made for the almighty. Back in better than ever. But what is next on Bobby Lashley's agenda? Does he stay focused on Rollins or does he have a score to settle? with the street champ Sol Sokoa. Wait a minute here. Well, this match is done and over with. This is a little bit uncharacteristic of Bobby Lashley, but he's sending Ashante the Adonis back inside the squared circle. Oh, wait a minute, Lashley, I think is looking to send a message to all the men that have wronged him in recent months on Raw. A spear by Lashley. I don't necessarily condone the actions post-bell, but you can't blame the anger and frustration of recent months getting the best of the almighty. A victory and statement made by Lashley. The next time we come your way for our live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th. We come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024 for the Royal Rumble. It is one of my personal favorite events of the year, and it's coming your way Sunday night, January the 7th, live from the T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, the 2024 Royal Rumble. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we got some breaking news regarding the WWE Women's Championship match on that night. Liv Morgan, who returned to action last week on Raw, marching her way to the front of the line. She will challenge the Nightmare Rhea Ripley next for the WWE Women's title at the Royal Rumble. Big time matchup signed for Las Vegas. But speaking of Rhea Ripley and speaking of the Judgment Day, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, set to go one-on-one -on -one with one man who has been a thorn in the side of the Judgment Day for months, that being the New Day's Xavier Woods. The new World Tag Team Champions coming out of Armageddon eight nights ago. We'll talk all about it in moments here on Raw. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. Well, the Judgment Day walking out of Armageddon eight nights ago with a victory over the Brawling Brutes and becoming a two-time World Tag Team Champion. And last week at the Slammy Awards, you, the fans, voted Damian Priest and Finn Balor as the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, and they have certainly made a great case. Coming together in the spring, winning the championships for the first time in June, a couple of hiccups in the road, but they ended 2023 so far on a high note with the tag team titles around their waist. But still some action to be had before we get to the new year as Priest set for one-on-one -on -one action against Xavier Woods of the New Day. The tag team of the year looking to keep their momentum at an all-time high. But coming down the aisle right now is one of the greatest tag teams of all time. The New Day's Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods looking to climb the ranks of the tag division. And his opponent, accompanied by Kofi Kingston, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods! Well, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods have had their run-ins with Damian Priest and Finn Balor in recent months on Monday Night Raw. Kofi and Woods own singles victories. Finn Balor and Damian Priest have picked up singles victories. The New Day have defeated the Judgment Day in tag team action. Just a few weeks ago, the Judgment Day defeating the New Day in tag team action. And a great match here on Raw. They've waged war time and time again with the momentum shifting back and forth. Tonight, they are set to write another chapter, but dare I say the most important chapter to be written thus far between these two teams. Now that Damian Priest and Finn Balor once again reside with the World Tag Team Championships, Kofi and Woods, who have been chasing number one contendership for months here on Raw, find themselves in an opportunity to punch their ticket to the front of the line and challenge the Judgment Day for the gold. It all lies in the hands of Xavier Woods if he can get the victory over the Archer of Infamy tonight. You gotta believe the confidence of the Judgment Day at an all-time high after surviving the Tornado Tag Team Rules match eight nights ago in Detroit at Armageddon, defeating their arch rivals of this year, the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland. And I'm sure the former World Tag Team Champions keep it a close eye on this matchup, as well as I'm sure they want another shot to win back their goal. All remains to be seen, Damian Priest, with his hands full tonight, the Judgment Day with the titles around their waist again, got a target on their back. And whether it's the New Day or the Brawling Brutes or another team looking to emerge on Monday Night Raw or even Friday Night SmackDown, the tag team division continues to be hotter than ever here in the WWE. Xavier Woods trying to come out with a flurry, but Damian Priest, as we mentioned, the confidence has got to be at an all-time high with becoming two-time tag team champions and being declared one half of the Tag Team of the Year. Now Priest looks to ride that confidence into this matchup tonight. They really push the pace against Xavier Woods, bring the pressure. Trying to just outsmart Xavier Woods throughout this matchup. Pick up a victory and send the New Day to the back of the line. But Woods and Kofi Kingston gonna keep fighting. It has been months on Monday Night Raw that we have seen not only Kofi and Woods 
battling it out with the Judgment Day, but battling it out with, among others, here on Raw. We've seen them intertwined with the Brawling Brutes on a few occasions. Woods and Kofi looking for Tag Team Championship contendership. And tonight, the biggest opportunity they have had to achieve that. Not if Damian Priest has his way, however. Woods getting the shoulder up. What about the news we found out moments ago? The third member of the Judgment Day, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year, set to defend her WWE Women's title against Liv Morgan, who returned to action last week on Raw, picking up a big time victory over Tiffany Stratton. That was, of course, coming in the, after Liv Morgan picked up a win over Blair Davenport back in London in October. Unbeknownst to all of us, suffered an injury during that matchup. What that injury was remains unclear. But Liv Morgan back and stacking up some victories, earning herself a championship match at the Rumble. Can't wait to see Liv and Rhea clash for the WWE Women's Championship. Morgan, a former, former champion in her own right. Certainly going to be a lot of discussion on that matchup in the coming weeks on the road to the Royal Rumble. But what about what we got right now? Priest, Xavier Woods. Momentum shifting back and forth here tonight in the Scotiabank Arena. Still to come tonight, the Rated R Superstar Edge returns home to Toronto to take on the WWE Champion Seth Rollins in your main event as Damian Priest comes crashing down, goes for the step up to pick and hero, Xavier Woods just a little out of position. And Woods getting the momentum back on a silver platter thanks to Damian Priest who now finds himself fighting an uphill battle. Xavier Woods gonna reap the benefits of that misstep by the Archer of Infamy. We'll call it high risk, high reward for nothing. To be your best friend are those high risk maneuvers, but can also be your worst enemy. Referee's at a count of six right now. This action's gonna get back inside the squared circle before we see a count out tonight. We hate to see it in such a competitive matchup between superstars who have been at each other's odds for months on end. Damian Priest back inside the squared circle. Woods almost had him there. Tornado DDT. Xavier Woods is feeling it tonight. Oh, and he's got to keep his eye on the ball because the Prince Finn Balor at ringside not afraid to take his eye out of this matchup. Priest trying to take advantage with the roll-up to no avail. Now a small package by Woods. Will that do it this time? Not, not just yet. Priest getting the shoulder up. Close call there. Damian Priest. It almost feels like he's fighting an uphill battle again in this matchup. Xavier Woods, dare I say, controlling the majority of this contest so far. Priest trying to hang in, however, and a headlock driver may spell the end for the New Day's Tag Team Championship desires, but we spoke too soon. Only a one count that time. Priest driving Woods' head face first into the canvas to absolutely no victory yet. Now back to the outside. These two men coming full head of steam at each other. And Priest sending Woods right to the barricade. Judgment Day, not afraid to use their surroundings to their advantage. As we saw eight nights ago at Armageddon in that Tornado tag team matchup against the Brawling Brutes. Divided and conquered did Priest and Balor. Last few moments of that match, Priest had Ridge Holland down and out. Finn Balor laid out Butch one more time and was able to secure a victory before Ridge Holland could break up the fall. Judgment Day earning their second Tag Team Championship of 2023, earning the accolade of Tag Team of the Year last week on Raw. Will they ride that momentum into another victory tonight? Or is Xavier Woods here to be the kryptonite to the Judgment Day? And you got to believe it's anybody's ball game coming into this matchup with all the wars these men have raged against each other. And now Woods cradle it up Priest. But Priest able to break it. Close call there. Xavier Woods thought he had this matchup in his clothes. So Scotia Bank Arena in full appreciation of these two talents. Leaving it all inside the squared circle. And outside, I should say, as well. Priest has got his bell rung right now. Xavier Woods, the mojo is flowing. And Priest on spaghetti legs, and here's Xavier Woods with the tope suicida. 
Priest down and out on the outside. Xavier Woods in the driver's seat here tonight on Raw. Such great action on the road to the Royal Rumble, which is coming your way Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston could be eyeing up the Royal Rumble as a night to get themselves a tag team championship opportunity. When the lights are on bright, the gold could be on the line if Woods can secure victory tonight. All remains to be seen is Damian Priest trying to create some distance and now looking to close the gap. But Woods, man, he is a fighter tonight. Damian Priest has got no answer as Xavier Woods once more cradling up the Archer of Infamy. A pinfall, and that's going to do it. Xavier Woods with a huge win tonight in Toronto. Damian Priest, absolutely no answer to the test that was the New Day's Xavier Woods tonight. And after months on end, have they secured their top contendership? Here is your winner, Xavier. We have seen a lot of battles contested between the New Day and the Judgment Day, whether it's in singles or tag team affairs. Tonight they wrote possibly the most important chapter. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston been eyeing up tag team championship opportunity. Month in and month out here on Raw. And now a victory over one half of the champions are the New Day, your new number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championship. What a win for Xavier Woods. Time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's attention now? There's nothing I could say. Nothing I could say. Well, not everybody is thrilled about CM Punk's impending return, including The Miz, who took to Twitter earlier today and had this to say. CM Punk isn't even back yet, and I'm already tired of hearing about him. All the years he's been gone, I've been here. I never left, yet he gets all the love and adulation. Losing streak or not, I am tired of the disrespect. Miz, of course, alluding to his current losing streak on Monday Night Raw, but nonetheless, let's continue with what The Miz had to say earlier today, which is why I'm going to put a stop to all of it once and for all. Punk, I haven't forgotten about the words you've said about me. I hold grudges, and that's why I'm officially challenging you to a match at the Royal Rumble. The Miz won CM Punk one-on-one -on -one in Sin City. I honestly can't believe that The Miz is going straight for one of the top of the cards right now, talking about his losing streak well over a year it's been since victory. Nonetheless, will CM Punk accept that challenge we find out in the coming weeks, but the best in the world is back live January the 7th in Las Vegas. Let's take you back to last week at the Slammy Award edition of Raw, the debut of Joe Gacy from NXT, who had a very interesting and downright disturbing performance against Sami Zayn. We have not seen Sami Zayn dominated in this fashion. And I don't know if we've ever seen, to be quite frank, Joe Gacy made a statement last week in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but it did not end at the sound of the bell. As you see, Joe Gacy looking to make a statement on Monday Night Raw, leave his mark on the red brand. Not only a victory was enough, Gacy with the post-match ambush over Sami Zayn and certainly making a few enemies along the way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds. Joe Gacy. And now Gacy walks down the aisle for the second week in a row. We are live from Scotia Bank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, on the road to the Royal Rumble. And as we just mentioned, Joe Gacy already making some enemies, not just in Sami Zayn, but in Sami's best friend, the prize fighter Kevin Owens. 
And Owens has found himself intertwined in a lot of chaos on Monday Night Raw. In recent months, he has found enemies in Karrion Cross and Solo Sokoa, among others. But Kevin Owens not afraid to pick a fight. And if Joe Gacy wants a war, Kevin Owens will certainly be the first man on the battlefield. Joe Gacy, got to be wondering if he's bitten off more than he can chew or if this is exactly what Joe is expecting upon his Monday Night Raw debut. Nonetheless, Gacy with the win over Sami Zayn last week, making a statement along the way. Can he do the same against Kevin Owens? Or is Owens out for a little bit of retribution? And his opponent, from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Just keep fighting is the mantra of the prize fighter, and Kevin Owens finds himself in another engage of fisticuffs here tonight in Toronto. Kevin Owens for months here on Monday Night Raw has been taking care of his business inside the squared circle. We have talked about how it's a change of heart of Kevin Owens, and the respect is now mutual between Owens and the WWE Universe. Kevin Owens is either gonna pick up a victory or he's gonna go down swinging, and that is what we have witnessed with Owens here on Monday Night Raw. One of the best moments of 2023 coming last month at Survivor Series where Owens fought through that 3-1 comeback in the traditional Survivor Series matchup. Owens unfortunately coming up short eight nights ago in Hell in the Cell at Armageddon for the WWE Championship, but is now back in action tonight and looking to do one good by his best friend, Sami Zayn. Owens coming out hot similar to how Joe Gacy exploded on the scene against Zayn last week in Grand Rapids. Still to come tonight in your main event, live from Toronto. The homecoming for the Rated R Superstar Edge as he is set to clash with Monday Night Raw's WWE Champion, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. High profile main event as Rollins prepares to defend his WWE title against the man you saw at the top of the hour, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Right now, Kevin Owens and Joe Gacy, two heavyweights inside the squared circle. Both men, I'm sure, looking to build momentum and throw their name in the hat for the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup on January 7th. Cannot wait to get to the Royal Rumble, the night where the road to WrestleMania officially begins. Gotta wonder who is gonna enter that 30-man field and punch their ticket to the main event of the show of shows. Imagine if a guy like Joe Gacy, an up-and-comer here on Raw, or Pick your poison with an up-and-comer on SmackDown. We're going to enter the field and win the whole thing. It'd certainly a be a way to catapult yourself, not only to the main event, but to superstardom here in WWE. All remains to be seen, but right now, Kevin Owens, Joe Gacy clashing here on Monday Night Raw, and Joe Gacy in the drop zone as Kevin Owens soars through the sky over the top row. Owens not afraid to bring things to the outside, but he better be careful because Gacy did a lot of damage to Sami Zayn at ringside last week. There I say it's where half the match was spent. Gacy just ragdolling Sami Zayn from pillar to post seven nights ago on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens better pick his poison carefully right now. Sending Gacy back inside the ring did enough damage I guess he was pleased with. Gacy there's just some screws loose in that mine of this wicked new superstar on Monday Night Raw. Can't really put our finger on it, but there's just a little something psychotic about Joe Gacy. That's the best way we can put it. And we talked about on Friday Night SmackDown how the current Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov, is just a man who thrives off pain inside of the ring. And I don't know if that's how we can describe Joe Gacy, but it's something similar. Gacy's just infatuated with destruction inside of the ring. Obviously, Joe made an impact for the last few years in NXT, but Monday Night Raw, a completely different ball game with some of the top superstars around the globe. Got to see how Gacy is going to adapt to the red brand and all the competition that is here on Raw. I mean, granted, so far, so good. Victory over Sami Zayn last week. And an emphatic one at that. And, of course, the post-match beatdown is really why we are having this Kevin Owens and Gacy clash tonight in Toronto. Gacy sending Owens into the rope. Miscalculated at that time. Owens with a kick to the gut. And Owens now looking to take the momentum back on a silver platter. 
Get on the ropes. Owen's not afraid to throw. Toss it in the wind as we have already seen in this match. The missile drop kick lands on the button and Kevin Owens now firmly in control here on Monday Night Raw. Now Owens, package, spin out, Gacy off the canvas. And that could be all she wrote. Handing Gacy his first loss on the red brand, but not just yet. Close call by Kevin Owens that time. I'm sure wherever Sami Zayn is watching this match, he is grinning from ear to ear right now. With the destruction that Kevin Owens is looking to lay upon Joe Gacy. Look at this, beautiful maneuver. Kevin Owens soaring through the skies here in Toronto tonight, like a Blue Jay. Oh, but can't, can't take your eye off Joe Gacy. Mean kick to the head, and a pump kick takes Owens off his feet. Owens was mounting some momentum, but now look at this. Owens was rolling to the outside, and Gacy trying to stay one step ahead, and here is the mean streak of this Raw's newcomer. We're gonna stomp the heart of Kevin Owens right out. Look how quick Gacy can just tear the momentum back into his corner. One of the reasons he was so destructive down in NXT and one of the reasons Sami Zayn just could not stack up offense seven nights ago in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Kevin Owens finding himself in a predicament at ringside. Looking to break the hold. Owens with a kick. Gacy avoids. Oh no, what is this? Wrapping Owens up with a big time neck breaker. You know, you land in the right position, that could knock you straight out cold. Referee's had a count of six right now. I'm sure Joe Gacy wouldn't mind a count out victory. That looks like what he may be going for as Owens up against the barricade, dazed, confused, and in pain right now. Gacy back inside the squared circle. Referee's had a count of eight. Kevin Owens has got to get in here. Count of nine. Oh, but Gacy. Saw Kevin Owens charging towards the ring. Gacy tried to cut him off, and Owens with a big time, big boot. And it was sent on off the apron. Kevin Owens is in full force tonight. And now back inside the squared circle. A little roll reversal by. What the hell? We. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on? Lights out, lights on at the Scotiabank. Karrion Cross is in the ring. What the hell is this? Choke slam to Kevin Owens. You have gotta be kidding me. Well, Owens is gonna win this match by disqualification, but Karrion Cross is not done with the prize fighter. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024, for the Royal Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at the Scotiabank Arena, and a brawl has broken out within the confines of the WWE Universe between the almighty Bobby Lashley and the street champ, Solo Sokoa. We saw what happened last week. Lashley returning, spearing Solo Sokoa after his victory over Sheamus. Earlier tonight, Lashley with a win over Ashante the Adonis. And now, somehow, Solo and Lashley have met up within Scotia Bank, and a brawl has ensued within the confines of the WWE fans. Well, you had to expect that. This was gonna brew over eventually. These issues between Solo and Lashley, obviously unfinished business between these two men. And Solo taking out Lashley. They are in very dangerous situations right here. Solo, Sokoa, Lashley surrounded by nothing but weaponry and concrete at their feet. I do not like this. And Solo with a Samoan drop to Bobby Lashley. Remember the fractured ribs that Lashley was on the shelf nursing. We got to get some more help out here. 
And oh, wait a minute, no. Solo Sokoa with his eyes on that table. Oh no, come on, not again! Suplex through the table, down to the concrete. A damn near repeat of what happened two months ago in London, England. We gotta regain some composure here at the Scotia Bank. And nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Next week, it is a Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. And the A-list superstar, The Miz, looks to break his losing streak against the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Will he challenge Punk at the Rumble? Remains to be seen. Next week, he's got the Celtic warrior on Christmas night. And speaking of a brawling group, we look towards this tag team championship rematch once and for all. One of the greatest rivalries of 2023 writes the final chapter, the Judgment Day. Brawling Brutes looking to get their gold back in a tag team championship ladder match. And ladies and gentlemen, you just saw the brawl that ensued live here in Toronto. But what is going to give next week on Christmas night, the almighty Bobby Lashley will meet the street champ Solo Sokoa one-on-one. -on -one, and I do not know what to expect when these two heavyweights are let loose and all warfare begins here on Monday Night Raw. Stack night of action coming your way Christmas night. Monday Night Raw live next week. But we are not done here in Toronto. Because it is main event time from Saskatchewan Bank Arena. The rated R superstar has returned home. For the first time since February, Edge is back on Raw. And for the first time since January the 1st, Edge is live in Saskatchewan Bank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Edge came up short against the Ring General Guther eight nights ago at Armageddon for the World Heavyweight Championship. And with that loss, we'll never be able to challenge for the world title as long as Guther holds the gold. But quietly the night prior, Edge's ex SmackDown exclusive contract expired, Edge becoming a free agent and deciding to show up tonight here in Toronto, back home, his backyard here on Monday Night Raw. And Edge is certainly finding himself in a high-profile situation. The World Championship on SmackDown may be out of the question. The WWE Championship on Raw, not necessarily. Can you imagine what a win tonight could do for the Rated R Superstar in hopes of attaining one more championship run in his already Hall of Fame career? And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 200. 17 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, Rollins has got to worry about Toronto's favorite son here tonight, but he has got to worry in the back of his mind about the almighty Bobby Lashley coming up at the Royal Rumble when the WWE Championship will be on the line, but what is going to happen over the next few weeks regarding Lashley and the street champ Solo Sokoa? I mean, you just saw the, the anarchy that ensued within the WWE Universe here in Saskatchewan Bank. Solo putting Lashley through that table, right down to the concrete. And now next week, Christmas night, Monday Night Raw, Solo, Lashley, one on one. I do not know what to expect regarding that whole situation, but nonetheless, main event time. And two superstars of the highest caliber set to lock horns here in Toronto. Edge, a Hall of Famer, taking on a future bona fide Hall of Famer in Seth freaking Rollins. Rollins was on the ballot for 2023 Men's Superstar of the Year. That award, unfortunately for him, going to the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre. And of course, decision made by you, the fans, in the votes for weeks on end. Rollins, however, not interested in what the fans think about him or whether he was taking home a award or not. Rollins, the WWE Champion. He can certainly make a case that Rollins had a fantastic 2023. 
entered this year as the World Heavyweight Champion, a part of the SmackDown brand. When he lost that title at WrestleMania, just a few weeks later, he was drafted to Monday Night Raw. Rollins made some waves here on the red brand all the way up until he won money in the bank in July and just a month later cashed it in to become the WWE Champion. And he has defended it ever since. And meanwhile, wait a minute, hold that thought. Edge going for the quick victory, not just yet. We've seen Rollins defend the championship against the Celtic warrior Sheamus, against Tommaso Ciampa. In a last man standing match, we saw the Hell in the Cell match just eight nights ago at Armageddon, which Rollins somehow survived against five other Raw superstars. And now Rollins has got the almighty Bobby Lashley, and God only knows what condition Lashley's gonna be heading into Sin City on January the 7th, but that's another story for another time. Nonetheless, we gotta focus in on the rated R superstar. But this late in his career, still looking for that one more run in the spotlight. Edge was chasing the World Heavyweight Championship all throughout this year, and unfortunately, even in some tough battles, came up short in regards to the World Heavyweight Gold. Had that one last chance eight nights ago at Armageddon, coming up short to Guther. A matchup that Guther only granted Edge. If, he, if Edge agreed upon the stipulations of the ring general, that Edge would no longer be able to challenge for the big gold belt. Luckily for Edge, Timing really struck for him and that contract with SmackDown exclusively expiring free agent here at the WWE and Edge now has a decision to show up on SmackDown or show up here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Gotta wonder what the future is gonna hold for the Rated R Superstar, but it certainly could be on the up and up if he could score a win over the WWE Champion here tonight. Edge could find himself waiting in the win to whoever leaves the Royal Rumble with the WWE title. All remains to be seen. Edge and Rollins, no strangers to each other. Clashing once more here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Edge back in Scotia Bank Arena for the second time in 2023. Unfortunately, the first time was unsuccessful. Going back to this year's Royal Rumble event where he came up short to Kevin Owens. Edge looking to do one good by his hometown crowd tonight. Pick up a victory over the WWE Champion. And make a new step forward here on Monday Night Raw. But Rollins with other plans as he lays out Edge inside the squared circle. Rollins looking to end his 2023 on a high note. Looking to march towards the Royal Rumble on January the 7th with the highest momentum possible. Certainly with an opponent like the almighty Bobby Lashley, regardless of what's going to happen over the next few weeks. Lashley, I'm sure, is going to be one tough challenge for the visionary. Bobby Lashley has all it takes to become the WWE Champion, but will he be able to do so Sunday night, January the 7th in Sin City? Meanwhile, Seth Rollins now continuing his momentum over the Rated R Superstar Edge in this main event clash. And the cover this time, and Edge still into it. And Rollins beginning to get frustrated. Rollins, I don't know if he was expecting this fight out of Edge. Both these men, eight nights removed from wars at Armageddon, but nonetheless find themselves in the heat of battle tonight. And Rollins over the top rope doing what he does best, inflicting punishment inside and outside the ring from anywhere he deems necessary. And Edge may be in his backyard tonight, his home of Toronto, where it all began for the Rated R Superstar, but that does not mean Rollins is gonna let him coast a victory. It may not be a warm hometown welcome for Edge tonight. The WWE Universe behind him. But at the end of the day, he's got to get the job done in between the ropes. And whether you want to admit it or not, that is something when it comes to high-profile matches that Edge has not been able to do in 2023. Edge into the corner on Rollins, big time forearm. Wait a minute, could be going for that elevated curb stomp to the Rated R Superstar. And that's good, oh no, Edge is kicking out. Edge is still alive. I thought that was it. I thought Edge was down and out in this match. Rollins going for the frog splash. Nobody home, Edge now with a spear on the WWE Champion. I think Edge might have bumped the referee by accident. The ref screws a little loose and unfortunately a little bit of a slower count. Edge that close to defeating the WWE Champion. Business picking up in your Monday Night Raw main event. 
curb stomp does not lead us to a finish. Neither does the spear. But Edge finds himself in control over the Monday Night Raw Visionary. And what is Edge going to pull out next? What trick does he have up his sleeve to try to take down the WWE Champion? Rollins sent to the outside. The Rated R Superstars wheels are spinning. The Iconic Class looking for a big time victory over the top rope and down to the ground. What you can do, I can do better, says, Ed, says Edge, excuse me. Excitement getting the best of us here in Toronto. Now the Hall of Famer with another cross body over the top. Edge all over the WWE Champion. And he is fired up. It's the Scotia Bank. Wait a minute, what the hell? What the hell is this? What, you gotta be kidding me right now. Is he here? What the hell is going on? The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Why is Lesnar interrupting this main event clash here in Toronto? Edge building steam over Seth Rollins. But now the arrival of the Beast Incarnate, who we have not seen since Clash at the Castle in October. The hell is Lesnar doing? It's a Scotia Bank Arena. He just took Edge's head off. Why? Lesnar, why? And at five. Brock Lesnar making a beeline towards the ring and just laid out Toronto's favorite son. This is the second time tonight a match is gonna go A-wire because of outside interference and now Lesnar with edge in the air for a second and five. Why is Lesnar in Toronto? We need answers, Brock, and we need them now. We will see you for a Christmas roll next week. Why, Brock, why? Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.